Um, first of all, thank you to everybody at the university. Thank you for this incredible honor. Um, some incredibly wise words said, and I must also say congratulations to uh, Jack. He was here just before me, and um, I also was uh, involved in the student association as it was then, and his name was always mentioned in such reverential terms and such hushed tones. And uh, the university is in, uh, is in great hands. Um, I have genuinely, absolutely no idea what I should say. <laughs> but the first thing I will say, I'm a doctor. <laughs> I mean, come on! Quite extraordinary, and anybody who had seen my academic record would echo that sentiment. <laughs> As mentioned previously, and thank you for those, that incredible um, introduction, there were facts pulled out there that I've not heard for quite some time. I came here in 1983. I came here as a very shy, very sheltered, very awkward young man. And um, on my open day, I, I fell in love with this campus. I fell in love with, I don't know, something in the air. Um, studying university changed my life, um, and I will be forever grateful for whatever it is at this um, very special place. You know, I came here to study accountancy. The plan was, my mum and dad's plan, was that, uh, you know, I would be a, a, an accountant, and that my brother would be a lawyer, and we would have a very good life, because they were news agents, and they wanted something better for me and my brother. And it kind of didn't really play out like that. I got involved in student politics, but not to the same degree as uh, Jack. I got involved in the entertainment here, the social secretary, and I DJed almost probably on this spot at what was the Ganarchy and at the Allen Grange and at the Robins. And um, I found my voice and I found what I wanted to be. Um, the people here, the diversity here, the thinking here, the free spirit of here. And I never look back, you know, and I can tell this slight tale because there's only a couple of people here who graduated with kind of film and media studies in this, this group. I think they're all graduating tomorrow. I applied for a job at the BBC, much to my parents' absolute dismay. They thought that I was making a terrible mistake. And um, I applied along with many, many of the kind of the, my fellow friends, actually, who had graduated with film and uh, media degrees. And um, as a graduate production trainee, was mentioned earlier, 15,000 people applied for those jobs. And I just thought, you know, I can do this. I can, I can be that person that I want to be. And I turned up at that final interview in a pair of slacks, and an open neck paisley shirt. And the guy at the BBC, these kind of mandarins at the BBC, they said to me, oh, it's a rather long time since we've interviewed a man in an open neck shirt and slacks. <laughs> and I honestly thought that I was doomed. But I got the job. And actually today, when I was getting my suit out to put it on, because my answer to that question when he asked me why was, this is the person that I am. This is the person that's going to turn up for work in, hopefully, in six months' time. And as I pulled my suit out today to put it on, I thought, one, that's a woolen suit. You're going to be really hot. <laughs> and two, I thought, you know what? I learned at this place to be the person that I wanted to be, to speak my mind, to not care if I was judged, and to set out on a path which may have resulted in failure. I put the suit back. I retained the jeans, and I got the shirt. And this is not meant as any disrespect, actually quite the opposite. It's meant for me to reconnect with what I found at this very, very special place. So if there is any ugh, advice, and that sounds like a ridiculously arrogant thing to say, but if I've got any words of wisdom, and having heard the words of wisdom that were uh, uh, said before, they shall probably pile in, in, in significance is, be courageous, be brave, and ask yourself this question. How can I live the life that I love? 
Not the life that I love, but the life that I really, really, really love. How can I fill my day, each day, with joy? How can I feel that joy so I leave the house and I'm walking down to the tube and I'm like, yeah, it's great to be alive. And I've asked that question a few times over the years, but I instinctively lived that life while I was here. And I've lost that in the last four or five years. And actually coming back to Stirling University now, driving around Bridge of Allen to all the old places that I used to go and the houses that I used to live this morning, I reconnected with that sense of joy and that spirit of youth. And seeing everybody parade across the stage in front of me, I'm looking at all these young faces and I'm thinking, what are they going to be doing in a few years' time? How many of them are going to be doctors standing here in a few years going, this is truly bonkers? So I don't really have any final words of wisdom, but to reconnect with that joy and with that love and knowing that you can live your life the absolute way that you want to live it. And I've met some really quite extraordinary people in my life. And as a boy from Blackpool and as a graduate of Sterling, sometimes I feel that somebody's tapping me on, going to tap me on the shoulder and say, look, Hamish, You've had your time now, come on, you've filled enough people. Back you go to Blackpool, back you go to, to Sterling. And what has always carried me through is just being honest, just being myself and saying to some of the most famous people in the world who are surrounded by people who would like to say, have yes said to them the whole time is, actually, I don't agree. Actually, I wouldn't wear that. Actually, not feeling that dance step. What do I know about dancing? But you know what? You can just be yourself. They can disregard it. And in making decisions now, when I get back home, I'm going to cancel out all the noise that is in my life, in everybody's life. The expectations, the demands, the thoughts, the social media. It's all noise. There's so much noise around our lives, around my life. But if you can filter out all that noise, actually... I don't really need to be involved in so many of those decisions. I really don't. Because actually, I need to strip everything back to bare principles, which is what is truly going to give me joy in my life? What's going to give me love? And how can I embrace that? If I, if I live my life by those principles, you know what? I'm not going to have any regrets. Or I'll probably have very few. Anyway. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for reconnecting me what, with what is incredibly special about this place. Congratulations, Jack, and good luck to you all. You're going to need it. It's a crazy, crazy world, but take it from me. As a shy boy who came here, you can absolutely achieve everything that you want to do and beyond in the words of Buzz, Yell Buzz Lightyear, is it? Infinity and beyond. So, to infinity and beyond to you all, thank you. <laughs>